Hello, my name is Father Joe Swans. I'm a priest of the Idolises of Sadak. I'm parish priest in, in the parish of Holy Family in Thanet. Different things motivate us to choose different vocations. It may be because we choose a vocation because it comes naturally to us. Or maybe we think it will make us happy. Or maybe we just put food on the table. Or maybe it will make a real difference in the lives of people. Whatever vocation we've chosen or are thinking about choosing and whatever motivates us in those, we are also called as Christians to one vocation, which is to live the life of holiness and through that be witnesses to our Lord Jesus Christ. In today, the third Sunday of Advent, in the Gospel reading, we are told that John the Baptist came as a witness to the light of the world, Jesus Christ. We are all called to that. We are called to be John the Baptist of our time. But priests are called in a particular way to witness to our Lord Jesus Christ. Interestingly enough, before I was a priest, I thought, you know what? Can it, the life of a priest make a real difference in the lives of people? And then as a seminarian in formation to be a priest, I did a pastoral placement in a parish for a year, set up a youth ministry. And I saw real changes happen in the lives of some of the young people through my outreach to them. That really motivated me and I thought as a priest, God can use me even more. And it's been fantastic. You see, in the first reading for today, Isaiah says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to proclaim liberty to captives, to bind hearts that are broken, and to preach the good news to the poor, the spiritually poor. I see lives transformed through my ministry as a priest. I see miracles when I hear confession. People come and they are burdened with sin and its effects. And after confession, I feel and I see them go away with their hearts full of joy and walk out with, with real freedom. Chains have been broken, they've been set free. The priest through walking with people, journeying with them, making time to listen to them, praying for them and giving them counsel. God through that sets people free from all forms of oppression. Life of the priest is real and makes real changes in the lives of people. But again, back to the gospel, we are told that John the Baptist says, I am a voice, a voice that cries out, prepare a way for the Lord. God uses the voice of the priest in preaching to proclaim Jesus, the one who truly sets free. The life of the priest is real and makes real changes in the lives of people. This cannot be boring. A teenage girl whom I, whose, whose family I know very well recently told me, he said, Father Joey, your life as a priest must be boring because you're always with old people. And I'm always with old people. And actually, before I was a priest, I thought, you know what? It might be quite boring. Maybe on my best day, it might be 50% exciting, 50% boring. But with all that I do, it's really exciting. It's a life if you've lived well, it's filled with so much joy. I've never experienced a boring day in my six years as a priest. God indeed uses us. It is God's work. It's God's action. You may be carrying two goods in your heart, the good of marriage and family life and the good of the priesthood, and I'm not sure what you are called to. Or you may actually be thinking about the priesthood and might feel a bit lonely in that kind of thing. Why am I thinking about these things and not sure what to do with it? Take it seriously. Pray about it. Speak to a priest about it. Speak to a Catholic who lives their faith, whom you trust about it. Consider it. Have the courage and the faith to make that step. The world in our time needs the ministry and the life of the priesthood. Take the bold step. Go for it. Thank you and God bless you.